Alright, hello. Hello. Alright, hello everybody, welcome to a bit more of Call of the Wild with the Anglia. Just to so let you know guys that this game is available on Xbox Xbox, PlayStation, and Steam. If you're interested, I if you want to know the prices and everything guys, go to the first little video I did of this route so you can get the prices and all that sort of thing, because I did go through them. And I do have, as I say, I know in yesterday's stream guys that the game was clear like the game the clean. The game was I think glitching and screen ripping a little bit. Put it this way guys, that's the game. All I'm gonna say, hopefully the people that have made Call of the Wild the Anglia, hopefully they do actually get that fixed with a patch or something at some point in the future. But yeah, this game guys only came out on the 30th of August 2023. So it's only been out just over 24 hours as I'm recording the stream because I'm recording this on the 1st of September 2023. I did my first look on the 31st of August 2023. But yeah, in today's stream guys, we're going to continue with looking around the area. And we're also going to do some fishing, try and get some of the tasks done and all that sort of thing. And yeah, we might have a look at the boat as well. So yeah, I will put my social links down below guys. I will also put the link to this game down below as well. But yeah, I say, yeah, let's get into it, shall we? Yeah, yeah, so you can sign in with your Apex account as well, which I'm not going to do, so it doesn't matter. And yeah, I've explained all of this already, so we're just going to go into play. We're going to go to the Golden Ridge Reserve. If you want to know, guys, I'm playing this on an Xbox Series S. So if there's any audio problems or FPS problems, guys, I do completely and utterly apologise right now. But yeah, if you want to get the um, Trolls Porret Nature Reserve, that's the Norway DLC, guys. Um, for, yeah, you'd have to purchase that off the store, guys. That's That DLC is not free, sadly. But yeah. Let's get into the Golden Ridge Reserve, and you know what? I say I've been through all of like about fish species, legendary fish and stasis. If you want to have a look at all that guys, feel free to go and have a look at the first little video. But yeah, let's watch the reserve video for anybody who's new in this stream so you can see exactly what the reserve looks like. I'm Clayton David Johnson, and I would say this here is my park. But from this day forward, well, that ain't quite true. As far as the eye can see, stream to sky, grove to gully, this ain't mine no longer. It's ours. Ours to explore, ours to cherish, and most importantly, ours to take responsibility for. Because if we don't, uh, not a soul will. Take your time to drink it in and get used to life here. The hot springs or mountain lake are great goals. But you call the shots, go where you'd like. Your equipment will take more than a little mastery. But if it's easy, it ain't worth doing. And you'll thank your lucky stars you did in the end. It's true that sweet mother nature offered up this bountiful providence. But over the years, man has spat on it, ground it underfoot, siphoned off her plenty for ruin. It's been the job of us Johnsons to keep it together since 1872. Trust me, it ain't easy. Hell, I'm not even sure it's possible. But it's well worth it. What we have today is beautiful beyond compare. It's due to the collective efforts of every guest that I can welcome you. Golden Ridge Reserve.
There we go, that was a nice bit of the intro so you can see exactly guys what the reserve actually looks like and what it's all about. But yeah, we're going to go now to play, we're going to get on with the reserve. We're going to go and do some fishing, we're going to go and do some driving, we're going to go and do some ex exploration. Right, here we are. So yeah, this is one of the outposts uh, that you can find. But we're not going to stay at this outpost. We're going to do something that you don't uh, think about, actually. Um, no, bear with me a second. So I'm just trying to look for the reserve that I was at. Um, that's the Emerald Lake. No, I don't want that one. The one I want is... Ah, there it is. It's up there. Can I fast travel, please? Bear with me a second. Let me just zoom in. Yep. I say once you uh, discover places like um, the outpost we were just at, you can actually fast travel around the map. So it makes things a bit easier. But yeah, I fast travel down here back to the reserve that we were at. So I can continue... Um, not the quest, not the chat, not the quest for actually on. Nope, we're going to go to Taylor's Tackle Academy Beginner Class number two. So it says create a float fish rig using the maiden rod, Tyreal, two kilogram, 4.4 kilogram uh, pounds fluorocarbon line, and a cigar float. Lovely afternoon for a fish. Or perhaps Thank you. a purchase? What'll it be? Um Hang on, I've already already got one in storage. Uh what did it get it out of storage? Right, the thing is, what I want to do is try and set up a rod here. Did you know um, the oldest fish hooks ever were made of sea snail shells and thought to be about 23,000 years old? Pretty neat, huh? No, put that Buy rod something. away. So yeah, the one we want is a float fishing one. Believe that's the rare reel we want. If you've spent any time with old Clay, you've heard him talk about his son. One in, one out, that's the way of the world. Glad I can be here and not there. Okay, um Right, sorry, bear with me a second. Just trying to set up a new uh, rod here. This park has problems, but there isn't a day I don't wake up and thank my lucky stars I'm here. Right, so we've got the maiden rod. Is that the right reel, though? Because it says, what reel do I need? I need the Tyro reel. Two kilogram of... 4.4 4 pounds of um a few years ago i was working in a business a million times the size of taylor's tackles this one's taylor made for me though Uh, 
Right, it says... Because <coughs> it's basic, basically what I've just done. Used to visit here as a kid. It's just like I remember it. For better or for worse. Alright, so we've got the tyrant reel, which is 2 kilogram. We've got that, which is 2 kilogram. With the cigar, the hook, and the pet. Right, I'm just gonna go and check here at the store. Hello. What can I get ya? What can you get me? A new br um, a new th a new something. Um, yeah, because that's what it says. Uh, the. Yeah, because we've got the we've got the cigar. Um, No, that's not that's not the right rod. I'm using. Hang on a second. I'm using. No, I'm using the wrong rod. So I want to know how to. I always thought it would be lonely rods. out here, but honestly, sure you don't want to buy more? Or no, anything? I don't. Thank you. Actually, no. We're not going to walk over there, no. We're going to get in the vet. We're going to get in the car. We're going to get in the brum brum. Where's me brum brum? Here's me brum brum. So yeah, I know driving like this, it glitches on the uh, on the bonnet. I'm uh, I do know that. Yeah, because we were gonna we were gonna walk there. Yeah, that would have taken us a while. So it's better with me a second. And yes, guys, I will be back uh, streaming uh, again tomorrow with a completely different game tomorrow. So tomorrow's going to be Lego 2K tomorrow. And then, as I say, there'll be no stream on a Sunday. And then I say, I don't know about my streams for next week. I don't have a clue. I'm just going to look at the map. Um, right, so let's go to the Mart location. The thing is, I can't see the Mart location on the Hello. On the hello. Ah, so what we need to do, we need to turn that left up here. What are you doing? Hopefully it's going to teach me how to switch between two, 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 two different rods. And we've just found another lookout tower. Excellent. Yeah, that's just a glitch in the game, guys. It's not the stream. There should be a junction coming up here on the uh, left-hand side. Is it going to get us to fish off a bridge? Okay, 
So small fish and small hooks. Hook sizes range from 10 smallest and increase to it and increase in size as numbers number lowers 9, 8, 7, etc. After size 1, the hooks continue to increase in size, but naming convention changes going from 1 slash 0 to 2 slash 0, 3 slash 0, etc. For example, a 4 size 4 hook is larger than a size 8 hook, and a size 3 slash 0 hook is larger than a size 1 slash 0 hook. Okay, so as a, r uh, as a rule of thumb, small fish can only be caught with small hooks. However, you might also occasionally attract big fish with a small hook. Oh, there we go, we've just jumped out. Oh yeah, I do remember. Oh. By the way, I'm using the wrong... I'm using the wrong rod. So it says catch a fish with a size 10 hook on the floating uh, rig. Okay, so the hook. Yeah, we've got a size 10 hook on it. Um, the thing is, I do want to... Um, Okay, I've uh, right. I've messed that completely up now. There we go. Yeah, we're on a different um, rod now, so... Let's just sit and wait for fish. But yeah, this game, guys, is $24.99 on Xbox, PlayStation... Is twenty three seventy nine on Steam, but there is a fifty percent off at the moment to the sixth of September if you want to grab it on Steam. Sometimes doing that does actually attract fish. Do you know what? We'll quickly bring it back in and we'll go a bit further. Yeah, I know I was a bit slow at casting. There we go. So yeah, my f uh, fishing rod's down there. I say, as I say, some fish are Fishing might be for you, it might not be for you. The only way is you can just try. 
And yeah, like I say, guys, this game is available on Xbox Game Pass if you want to purchase it as well. So, well, if you have Xbox Game Pass, you can download this game. You can have a look at the game, see if it's for you. If it's not for you, then fair enough. Right, you know what? We're going to go and try uh, over here instead. Oi! Give me my rod. Yeah, that was uh, not the greatest. I might actually have to change my bait as well. The thing is, uh, my bait shouldn't be the problem. You know what, I might actually change location, um, unless I need to, unless I need to be up here. Do you know what, let's try going down, um, let's try going down here. Give me my, um... See if this works. Do you know what? I'm gonna change my I'm gonna change my bait. That's what I'm gonna change. No, don't put it away, you stupid plank. Actually, if I do put it away, then I can access this menu. Um rods. Try that. It's all about the waiting game. And yes, also guys, on this game there is cross-play and there is multiplayer as well, so...
Just try and play with the fish. Amazed I'm not finding any fish. Do you want to, let's try a different location. a fish. I say we do need to catch a fish to uh, complete this um, task anyway. I'm hoping that a fish nibbles soon. <coughs> Do you want my first thing? Uh, how far is my... Do I let's try and put this? Try and put the thing a lot further down. Too slow. Let's try that. Yeah, that was a screen rip. That was to do with the game, not the cons, not my stream. Thank you very much. Hopefully, the people who've made this game do actually fix that. Hopefully. Is there no fish in this water? There was a fish over there that jumped up and then went back down again. Cheeky little thing didn't come and nibble at my hook.
It's all just a waiting game for fish to come and nibble the uh, nibble the hook. Right, do you know what? We're going to try a different location. For some reason I don't seem to be getting any fish in that location. Might try moving that around. Too slow. I'll do it again. No, don't look at the ground. So is this going to be a stream where we're just not going to catch a fish? You know what, I'm going to try it over the other side. I don't fall over. Come on, my rod, thank you. Then the thing is, I'm gonna have to change. I'm gonna try changing the bait again. See if that works. Because at the moment we don't seem to be getting anything. So I've changed so many lo. I've changed, switched so many locations. Put the rod. Put the rod away. Thank you.
Let's try that. So I've been streaming for about 38 minutes and I haven't caught anything at the moment. Aha! And there's me saying, oh, I didn't catch anything. Ha 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 ha! Come here, you. Look at that, a small mouth bass. So a weight of 43 kilograms, a length of 21.68 centimeters, temperature 14.02 Celsius. That was the bait we used and it took us 24 seconds to pick that up. But sadly, we can't keep the fish. We've got to put the fish back in the water. Okay. The next catch target will be there, there. The next catch will target large fish. So you will use a hook size seven. You will find one <coughs> with your equipment. Equip your equip it to your tackle before casting out. Choose a large hook excludes smaller fish. However, Choose a hook too large and you might only get a few, if any, bites. Make sure to watch the tension in your line and manage it with varying... Manage it by var varying your drag. If necessary, bigger fish can be pu pull harder. So, what we need to do is put that away. We need to go to the rod, we need to change the hook size to size 7. Okay. We'll put that bait on the end as well. Oh, that was too slow at casting again. Oh, ding bangs. Okay, so we're going to see if we can catch a bigger fish this time. So that's my laptop making that noise. Oh, hello! Oh, we strikes too late. Hopefully we do get another fish. There you go, we've got it. Oh, no, you don't. Come on, big fish. Big fish, little fish. Powerful fox. Largemouth bass. 20 kilo 21 kilograms. Length of 17.84 centimeters. Temperature 11.10 Celsius. There we go. <coughs> but sadly, we're going to put that fish back in the water. You've learned about the gear strength, hook sizes, and how to catch small or large fish. Use this knowledge to your advantage and catch more fish. Mission complete. So what we need to do is catch five fish now. Oh, cast it too slow. So yeah, it took me half, uh, nearly half the stream just to catch a fish. Wow. Come on, you cheeky monkey. Come on. 
We need to not let our tension get too much. Come on, you cheeky monkey. I can see you. Aha, we had to... Large mouth bass. Weight 1.1... Weight 1.41 kilograms. Length 40.21 centimeters. Temperature 11.78 Celsius. There we go. That's our biggest fish we've actually caught. Wow. Let's go again, shall we? See, we need to catch four more fish. Okay, we've got ourselves another strike. Strike! Come on, where are you? There you are, I can see you. Come on. We secured the catch. Hey, Northern Pike. So weight is 70 kilograms. Length of 34.38 centimeters. Temperature 11.46 Celsius. And it took us 17 seconds to catch that. Oh, too slow to cast again. Okay, let's see if we can catch three more fish. Yeah, man. No, ah, oh, no, 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 no. Don't tension my rod too much. Oh, I think this is a big one, actually, if it's tension my rod that much. Oi, 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 oi. Ooh. There we go, we've got it. Another northern pike. <coughs> so 1.41 kilograms, length 43.27 centimetres. Temperature 9.93 Celsius. And it took us 19 seconds to catch that. Okay, so we need uh, two more fish. Oh, no, you don't. You do not tension my rod that much. Come on, you cheeky monkey. I can see you. Largemouth bass. Okay, one more fish. And then we've completed this challenge. Oh, this looks like a uh, fighter. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, no, you don't. Come on. Come on, you cheeky, cheeky gink. Cheeky gink. Oh, what words? Whoa. Hello. No. <laughs> Wait, come on. Yeah, man. You are not getting away from me. There we go, I've got ya. A walleye, 2.94 kilograms. Weight, 62.46 centimeters. Temperature, 12.55 Celsius. And it took us 39 seconds to catch that. Oh, 
we just leveled up. Just telling us to go back to the challenge board now. So yeah, if we have a look on here at the handbook. So yeah, we've caught some largemouth bass. Um, we've also caught some northern pike. Uh, we've also caught some walleye. And that's about all, all we've caught. So yeah, here's my latest catches. So the walleye, largemouth bass, northern pike, northern pike, a largemouth bass. And all those other ones are from what I caught the other day, so... Yeah, I was actually glad to actually catch some fish in the end. I'm trying to look and dive through the trees. I say you can fast travel back to the uh, outpost if you wanted. But we're going to take a drive because We've got the car so we can drive there. So if you were walking places you can just uh, fast travel around. But if you've got a car and a bo a car or a boat you can uh, drive to places. Here we are, we've arrived back at the Golden Reserve. Sorry, we've just leveled up again. Okay, so... Taylor's Tackle Academy Advanced Class. So welcome to the third class of Taylor's Tackle Academy. In this class we'll explain the basics of spin fishing, talking about lures and lure retrieval and explain fish ranks. At the end of the last challenge you received a spinner with a hook of size 7. Equip this to the quick menu on the rod builder this class uses a spinner to catch trout. Okay. We're going to have to push... Um, yeah, I've read the instructions, thank you. Okay, so create a spinning fish rig using the spinner lure. So we want to go to rods. Um... Let's completely get rid of that.
There we go. Go to the mart location. Wow, we're going for a, we're going for a bit of a drive this time, guys. It's nice that you can actually make your own mods up. And yes, you can purchase other rods and stuff like that as well, so... Okay, there's a sheep in the reserve. Sign of madness. second let me just check the map where's it wanting us to go where is it where it where, where is the mark location oh the mark location is down there So it is going to want us to go across the bridge. Okay. Oh, that was a sign. Sign of madness again. Hang on a second, let me just go back. Quarter of them oxides sorted. We'll be pulling out the daisies in no time, bud. Yeah, I had to go back and sort that out. Because that was dangerous. Another fast travel location. Through the water again. I wish it would actually make a splash sound when you had to go through the water.
vehicle is struggling up the hill. Really? I just need to check something. Yeah, we are continuing straight down here. But it looks like we've just found some, uh, another fast travel point. Yeah, we're gonna go up here, uh, come to a junction and then turn right. So yeah, it's taken us a while just to drive up here. Okay, we're coming up to the junction. I believe this is a junction we want to we want to take. Not that junction. It's down here we want to go. So yeah, once you've uh, got all the fast travel places, uh, you generally don't need to drive around. Ah! Okay, into a tree. I know that was going to happen anyway. Find ourselves another um, place. Okay, so layer retrieval. As opposed to float fishing, spin fishing is more active and requires a lure to move through the water in order to entice fish to bite. This is done by performing a retrieval technique. Each lure has a list of compatible techniques such as constant technique which is efficient for spinners. This is, this is a simple technique that requires real in lure and consistent speed. 
Okay, rear retrieval speed. While rear blah, while reeling in at the lure, the speed of the retrieval can be varied as seen in the bottom left of your screen. Some fish may prefer uh, the faster speeds while others may prefer slow swimmers and only catch up with a slow speed. Okay, so what they want us to do is catch a fish. Catch a fish. So yeah, you can also get boats from here as well. But when you've got the money, you can actually purchase cars and boats. Yeah, we have got a size 7 hook on this. Oh, for God's sake, no. It's all about the waiting game. Jiggling. So I'm not sure uh, what bait we've got on this. Hopefully I can catch a fish. There's a fish right in front of me. Uh, I believe I've literally just reeled my... Um, I was going to say, I thought I reeled my thing back in then. I believe I've got bait on this as well. Right, I'll be back in a second guys, just going to nip to the toilet quickly, I will return, don't you worry.
Right, I have returned. Right, let's try again, shall we? See if we can actually catch a, a um, fish. Fish, fish, fish. Yeah, I am at the end of the jetty. Actually, no, let's pull that in a second. Let's actually see if I've got any bait on it. Uh, put that away. Okay, so you don't need to put bait on these. Right, okay. Oh, casting too slow. Yes, I'm probably going to do about another half an hour of this, guys, and then that, that will be it for this stream. But yeah, I think, guys, uh, yeah, I'll return with more of this next week. I'll do more of this next week. But yeah, like I say, tomorrow's stream, guys, is going to be LEGO 2K tomorrow. That's tomorrow's stream. We're twitching it. Twitch, twitch. No, I don't want a quick retrieval, you don't know. Hopefully that should actually attract a fish at some point. So this was the same that happened last time. Tried to catch a fish and did it work? No. I say it took us a little while to get start catching fish and there's a fish over there. Oi, cheeky. I say with fishing guys it's always a uh, potluck is what it is it's always potluck let's bring that in try going over here There's another fish over there. Really? Fish are playing games with me. There's a fish there. So 
say, fish are enjoying playing games with me at the moment. One minute they're there, next minute they just want to be a pain on the backside. Oh, I'm going to try, um, oh no, the land's back there, so. Okay, we've gone over there this time. Try and trick the fish into someone's there. I didn't realise I was changing those down there. Okay, we've tried over there. Uh, let's try over here. Yeah, I know I've casted too slow. Casted too slow again. And again. Do you know what? We're gonna try. We're gonna try something actually.
Oh, it's come out a little bit now. Like we're out in the water. Let's see if we can catch a fish this way. Okay, we don't seem to be catching a fish. This is not... This is not helpful. So this is what happened last time, like when we were at that bridge area trying to catch a fish. Yeah, that didn't go down well. The ducks keep laughing at me. Let's try another spot. Um, you return to the boat. That right there is a nasty hyacinth that'll put the whole park up the spout. Can you find me many more, Buckaroo? Okay, there's our boat. It's a boat.
So yeah, as you can see, we're trying so many different locations just to get a fish. So we're trying the twitching and the jiggling. We just don't seem to be getting anywhere. Right, we'll try one more, um, we'll try ahead of us again, see if that works. You can't zoom in to see where the float is because there's no float. Yeah, like I say, guys, I will come back next week with this again. Because I do want to try and work through these tasks and stuff, so... Go back to uh, we'll go back to port. We'll dock the boat. There go the boats over there. So yeah, at least we've done a bit of driving, a bit of fishing, and a bit of boating as well. Can't do anything with the phones. Phone, your tea phone home. Right, so what I'm going to check is if that's saved anything. Okay, we'll go. We'll go back to menu. We'll jump back in again. See what it's saved as on. Hopefully, it's saved as at the same place. Yeah, it's saved as at the same place, so that's good. There we go. So, let's have a look at what we've done in today's session, shall we? Uh, not the about. So yeah, that's all. So species, we've caught about three large mouths, uh, two small mouth, no bluegill, no bird dot, 
three black crappy, no catfish. Um, we've got two northern pike. We caught well. We've got one green sunfish, and we've got mon mountain whitefish as well, and a walleye. We've caught no legendary fish. So yeah, our biggest catch was the walleye. Our best scoring catch was also the walleye. So yeah, points of interest. We've got 15. We've got zero of the others. But to finish off, guys, let's watch the reserve video again to finish off. I'm Clayton David Johnson, and I would say this here is my park. But from this day forward, well, that ain't quite true. As far as the eye can see, stream to sky, grove to gully, this ain't mine no longer. It's ours. Ours to explore, ours to cherish, and most importantly, ours to take responsibility for. Because if we don't, uh, not a soul will. Take your time to drink it in and get used to life here. The hot springs or mountain lake are great goals. But you call the shots, go where you'd like. Your equipment will take more than a little mastery. But if it's easy, it ain't worth doing. And you'll thank your lucky stars you did in the end. It's true that sweet mother nature offered up this bountiful providence. But over the years, man has spat on it, ground it underfoot, siphoned off her plenty for ruin. It's been the job of us Johnsons to keep it together since 1872. And trust me, it ain't easy. Hell, I'm not even sure it's possible. But it's well worth it. What we have today is beautiful beyond compare. It's due to the collective efforts of every guest that I can welcome you. Golden Ridge Reserve. Yeah, so what a nice way to finish off the stream, guys. A nice way to finish off the stream. So yeah, like I say, guys, like I said during the stream, I will be streaming this again next week because I'm really enjoying Call of the Wild, the Angler. I'm really actually enjoying it. As I say, I have streamed the other one, Call of the Wild, the Hunter. I have streamed that one. Was I keen on it? Not really. This one I seem to be a bit more like getting into it, seeming to do a lot more. But yeah, like I say guys, this game does have multiplayer and crossplay as well, so you can play with your friends if you want. Which is really enjoyable. But yeah, let's say guys, this game is available on Xbox, PlayStation and Steam as well. It's $24.99 on Xbox One and Xbox Series X and S. It's $24.99 uh, on PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. The Deluxe Edition, if you want it on PlayStation 4 or 5, is $36.99. And for Steam, this is £23.79. But until the 6th of September, guys, this game is, uh, I think, about £11 something to the 6th of September. So you get 50% 50, 50, 50 of this game as well. But yeah, as I say guys, I do apologise if there's any FPS or audio problems during this stream. I know there was a bit of a gl like, the bonnet of the car was glitching a bit. I understand that, you know. But that's a bug in the, that's a glitch in the game guys, that's not the glitch of the stream. 
But yeah, there we go guys. As I say, I will put all my social links down below. I'll also put the link to this game down below as well. But yeah, I will be back streaming again tomorrow on Saturday with LEGO 2K. Which, is a if people want to know, is a free play day game on Xbox at the moment. So yeah, but as I say, I will be back next week with this game guys. As I say, I don't stream on Sundays, I have Sundays off. So... Yeah, I'll be back some point. Oh, I'll be back tomorrow, guys. But with this game, I will be back next week at some point with it. But yeah, there we go, guys. That's it. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Stay safe, stay happy, and I will catch you guys in the next one.